Hello, I'm Professor McDermott, and uh, I am your teacher for this online history course. Several things uh, I want to mention in this short video. First of all, this course will probably be unlike any other online course you've ever taken. So the best advice I could give you right now, if you're looking for that kind of online course where you just read a textbook, memorize some facts, take some quizzes or exams, and then promptly forget everything that you learned. This is not the course for you. But if you want to have a real learning experience, uh, and if you're willing to work to make that happen this semester, I am delighted to have you in the course. Um, the way that this course is structured um, is unusual, but I, I did it this way for a reason. There are a lot of disadvantages to online courses, but the one major advantage is that in discussions, you have a lot more time to prepare what you want to say than you would have in the classroom, where the professor is just putting you on the spot and you have to come up with something on the spur of the moment. Uh, in the online format, you have really several days to think of what you want to say and to really have um, very thoughtful participation in answering um, discussion questions. And there's time to get a really great conversation going um, among the members of your class or group. In this course, we're divided into uh, two groups for the purposes of um, discussion. And so with that in mind, I designed the course so that discussion uh, was the most important aspect of the course. And in fact, um, the biggest factor in your grade. So your posts on the discussion board all taken together will count for 40% of your final grade in this course. Um, so what that means is that um, if you follow the directions for the course carefully, this is usually the case for my courses. Usually students who really do follow um, the directions I give them end up doing quite well uh, in the course. And, and this course is no exception. If you follow the directions I've given you, especially the directions for how the discussions are going to go, um, chances are you will get a good grade. And in addition to having a great learning experience. Um, the procedure for the discussions is a little tricky at first, but you will get the hang of it. You will get the hang of it. Um, so the best advice I can give you right now uh, is to read the syllabus from beginning to end very carefully and ask me if you have any questions. Please, if anything is confusing at all, do not hesitate to reach out and ask me. And when I say read the syllabus, I don't mean look at it on your phone. Uh, I mean go to a computer and read it carefully on the computer from beginning to end, or even better, print it out um, and really read it carefully and, uh, and think about it and ask if anything is at all confusing. And now this semester, the provost uh, has mandated uh, that everyone has to uh, acknowledge that they have read and understood uh, the syllabus. So please take the syllabus acknowledgement quiz uh, posted under assessments and then quizzes. Um, so it, there are several questions on it, but basically it's just making sure that you read the syllabus and that you understood it. Um, also very important to realize your first actual deadline for the course is 11.59 p.m. on January the 19th, uh, which is Saturday. Um, that By that uh, date and time, you must have made your first posts for all three of the discussion questions for module one. Um, if you don't make your first posts by 11.59 p.m. on Saturday, January 19th, the highest grade you can get on your discussions for each question is 15 out of 25, which is a D. Now, uh, why do I have that extra deadline in there? It's because um, if I didn't have it, then people would probably not post at all on the discussion board till the very last day of each module. And then it would be too late to get any kind of real discussion going. And so we have that earlier deadline. It's normally the sixth day of each uh, module. 
uh, that you have to have made your first posts for all the discussion questions on um, the discussion board. Uh, but if you read the syllabus, you will get complete directions on how to make your posts. Um, the whole procedure is laid out for you there, so please um, read that carefully. Um, also, extremely important, uh, the federal government requires all professors to submit an attendance verification after the first two weeks of any class to confirm that you have actually been attending. And in the online classroom environment, that means that you must have completed an academic graded assignment. And so what that means is if you do not post um, for the discussion questions for module one, um, you will be dropped. Um, and remember that the discussions end on the last day of each module for that module, and you cannot make them up uh, once those discussions close. So please, please participate in these module one discussions or you will be dropped from the course by federal mandate. Okay, finally, um, as part of the discussion procedure, um, each group will have a chair for each module, and the chair's job is to facilitate discussion, uh, to keep the discussion moving forward, and to help each group to reach its goal, its goal for each module, which is to come up with a group answer for each question that everybody can agree on. So first you're going to post your own individual answers to questions, and then the chair will help uh, organize the discussion so that you can come up with a group answer that everyone agrees on for each um, question. So I need volunteers to serve as chairs for module one and then from here on out. And I give some pretty good incentives for service as chair. Um, we'll start with being excused from the final exam with a perfect score. Uh, so if you're interested in being excused from the final exam with a perfect score, please, uh, email me as soon as possible. The first uh, people to email me uh, will be put down as chairs in the order the emails are received for each module. And one note about emailing me, all my contact info, my email, my phone number, it's on the top of the syllabus. Um, if you want to email me at that asuramstudy.edu address, do not email, try to email me to, to that address from your D2L email. D2L is an internal email to Georgia View. Um, and uh, you can email me that way, but um, there's, a, there's a separate address for that uh, within Georgia View email. If you want to email me at that asurams.edu address, use your ASU Rams account or some other email account like Gmail or Yahoo or whatever. Um, but uh, please do email me. Please do contact me. If you're on campus, please come to my office hours. Um, I uh, want this to be a great learning experience, and I will not ask you to work harder than I do. Um, so please, uh, I want to help make this happen for everyone. Please contact me if I can be of assistance in any way. Thanks. I look forward to working with you. Have a great semester.